Good afternoon. Thank you guys so much for being patient. My name is Tracy Meisner, and I am the chairperson for the Student Production Awards for the Southeast, Southeast Region. I am also the film and video teacher at Alpharetta High School. This year, we changed things up a bit by announcing the nominees via social media and announcing the awardees here. No one knows who's going to win. Actually, there's no winners. Everybody's a winner. But a recipient, recipient will be awarded. We did this to show what an honor it is just to get nominated in your respective category. The fact that you're in the room means your work has been recognized for outstanding achievement. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'd also like to recognize our teachers and professors here today. You're the ones who are guiding, teaching, and mentoring our students to success. And let's not forget the parents who support our students' passions. Before I leave the stage, I want to recognize a few people who are behind the scenes today for today's event. Up in the booth, running production is Jamie Chubin and his students from John Street High School. Behind the curtain with me is Bill Phelps from Harrison High School, and Bill, if you've never met him, he's a big, big guy, but he just has a way of calming everybody down, um, and that's part of his main job, is to keep me from shaking. Um, this event could not happen without the attention to detail and hard work from Janice Epperson from the Southeast County Office. And finally, the person who mentored me through this entire event, Jeremy Campbell. Jeremy Campbell is a reporter at 11 Alive, where you may have seen his award-winning docuseries, Investigations, The Triangle, Charlie Foxtrot, and Little Man Lost. Please welcome the president of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Southeast Chapter, Jeremy Campbell. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the Student Production Awards. We're so excited to have you guys here. Very fun afternoon uh, ahead of you. I, I'm here on behalf of the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences Southeast Chapter to tell you something very important. You've all won. <laughs> now, it's not an open moment. You're not going to reach under your seats and pull out a crystal pillar, but just by being in this room tonight, you truly are on your way to a career with unlimited potential. I've been in that seat before. 20 years ago, uh, I was here as a student receiving the NADIS scholarship. And in that 20 years, since I was sitting just where you were, I've had the good fortune to travel as a TV journalist from the White House to the Nile River. I've interviewed presidents and rock stars, and most importantly, people who needed help. What we all do, whether it's journalism, whether it's film, whether it's motion media, has the power to inspire, has the power to change lives, and change laws, and change the world. That is what you are here to hear tonight. That is the message from the Academy. And the fact that you're here as a nominee is a wink from the universe that you are on the right track. We want to see you come back. In the words of Evelyn Mintz, our national trustee, and my personal and godmother, as I like to say, and take tonight's moment as inspiration to come back and win an Emmy. That's what we challenge each of you to do. So, to get you further down that path, we're going to start the awards process. I want to tell you about the man who will be our MC tonight, over overseeing this event. You know him. You know his name. You know his face. You see him five nights a week, sometimes more if it's snowing. His name is David Chanley. He is Fox 5 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist, and he's been forecasting the weather in Atlanta for 30 plus years. He spent 26 years at WSB. Before that, he was in Macon, he was in Columbus, and he holds the Certificate of Broadcast Meteorology. That is the highest distinction for a meteorologist 
that is offered. And talk about a word worthy. He has won 10 Southeast Emmy Awards. He is the example of what you guys can all become if you work hard and you stay on this path that you've already started walking down. So without further ado, let's get the 2018 Student Production Awards started by taking a look at what you guys have created. Scroll that sizzle reel.
Uh, I've never been a good brief guy, so I'll do my best this time around. Um, honestly, this award uh, belongs to Debbie Williams, who was the widow um, who actually lost her husband last March in the uh, cost of care. Uh, who got the first cost of care uh, in South Carolina. Um, so just keep an eye out there when you're on the roadways, guys. You don't want to, you know, hurt anybody out there. But thank you so much. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, honestly, speechless, but yeah, thanks. this is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Serious news. Your nominees are Injury Prevention, Ethan Miller and Courtney Smith, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV, Rob Jones Journey, Reese Phillips, and Victoria Sherlock, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV, and Stress, Keel Cole, Alpharetta High School. And the award goes to Rob Jones Journey, Reese Phillips, and Victoria Sherlock, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV. Rob Jones, a former combat engineer, began his journey almost one month ago to raise money for the greatest of our American heroes, those who voluntarily put their lives on the line to protect our freedom. Uh, I came up with the idea to run 31 marathons in 31 days, uh, in 31 different cities. Uh, the best thing about setting a goal uh, to run all these marathons is that I'm doing it for a purpose that's greater than myself. I'm doing it for uh, my fellow veterans. that focuses on recognizing the happenings of the civil rights movement from 1963 and on in Columbia and throughout South Carolina. So uh, I spent the last four years of my life in Columbia, South Carolina, going to the University of South Carolina. When people think about civil rights, they usually jump over a lot of the cities who had a huge impact, like Columbia did, and I really enjoyed learning and highlighting um, everyone's stories from the 50s, 60s, and 70s who fought for civil rights back then. So thank you to my uh, family, to uh, Carolina News, for continuing to push me to be my best. But yeah, this is, this is, this is incredible. Please, thank you. <laughs> thank you. He's getting it down. <laughs> That's awesome. The nominees for high school news, general assignment light news are Delta Museum, Audrey Zerlein, Line, and Matthew George, Alpharetta High School. And again, I apologize for one over the names and if I mispronounce anybody's names, that, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I hate that. Uh, I'll get it right. Cassidy Burns, uh, Guts, Cassidy Burns, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV. Technology, Morgan Perkins, and Jason Cerno, and Brooke McLean, Cambridge High School. Work-based learning, Andy Cole, Lanier High School. And the award goes to Work-Based Learning, Andy Cole, here at High School. Would you like to be a career campus, earn the class credit, and have a leg up in the career field you'd like to pursue? That dream is a reality for high school students in the Work-Based Learning Program. 
Cornette's executive director of academies and career and technical education, Jody Reeves, tells us it gets even better. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, God because without Him we wouldn't be here. Um, yes. Um, and then I'd also like to thank all of the, uh, our teacher at Linear High School, Keith Phillips, uh, the GCPS TV broadcast team, the district office team, um, Thomas Harmon, Mary Chen, those of you that are here, my parents, and my brother, Ethan. Um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I had the opportunity to, uh, to judge quite a few of these uh, entries, both on the high school and college level, and done that for a couple of years. And what I see is the unbelievable work and creativity that we're seeing. And uh, the, the future of this business that I've been in for many, many years is very bright. You guys are awesome and rocking. All right, we got another award, and we have uh, a single nominee, I believe. So let's roll. Nominees, my bad, nominees for Arts and Entertainment and Cultural Affairs are, and there's your award, Strings and Southern, Robert Ross, Brandon Holder, Shelby Head, Georgia Southern University.
Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, we go. We go. Hey, I know this is exciting, and I know that you're on the edge of the seats, but this is also time to have fun. What I'm excited about is that you young people are so much farther ahead than I was at your age. I didn't have a chance to come to an event like this or even have awards like this. So just savor this moment, the way you're feeling right now. It just gets better and better. I was thinking of something inspirational I could tell you, and all I could think of is to think of something that happened to me early in my career that helped me remember something. And that is, I was working, real quick story, I was working at a radio station in Pittsburgh, all news radio, and I had to write a script. I wrote a script, and they told me to write a script about sports, and I thought I'd really written something really fantastic. So it was in Pittsburgh, so it was a Steelers story, it was a Pittsburgh Penguins, it was a Pirates story. I went back, I gave it to the producer, he looked at it, I'm really proud, and he took the paper in front of me and ripped it up. Whoa, I thought I was gonna cry, I kept it together. But what I learned was that I didn't always have it together, that there was always something more I had to learn. And that bravado that I thought I had, it's good to have, but only to a certain degree. And that always remember there's so much more to learn. So you're at that early stage now, and so just take, take that into account. It's good to have some of that, that bravado and that good feeling about yourself, but also remember that it's, it's always a learning experience. And the good thing about it is, even at my age, I'm still learning. So let's get started with these awards I'm excited to present. The nominees for College Music Video are Capital Arms, Alexis Achapina, Pini, and Austin Taylor, and Roko Shapiro, Savannah College of Art and Design, Good Girl Winnie Foster, Alex Preston, Sarah Charles Lewis, and Angelica Perez Castro, Savannah College of Art and Design, and you are here with me here, Lauren Cash, Savannah College of Art and Design. And the award goes to, you are here with me here, Lauren Cash, Savannah College of Art and Design. Alright, 
The nominees for college long form fiction are The Buzz, Episode 4, Bryce and Lima, Dominique Koshi, Vivian Grafon, Savannah College of Art and Design, The Buzz, Season 2, Episode 1, Le Buzz, Bryce and Lima, Dominique Koshi, Savannah College of Art and Design, Hot Case, Shaylen Lagani, Christian Matalavo, and Mark Vogt, Savannah College of Art and Design, and Scatterday Night Live, Carson Smith, Franklin Bond, Savannah College of Art and Design. And the award goes to Hot Case, Shaylen Are you more of a Ted Bundy girl or a Jeff Donner girl? Um, I'm less about those who commit and more than those who catch. All right, well, thank you guys so much for this award. Um, on behalf of Hopkins, as you can see, there's like Seven of us, five of us up here, around 50 to 60 people have made this show. Um, we made three episodes so far, and it's just going from there on. We're really blessed to have Andrew and Mark DW to be able to hold their hands and help us out along the way. Um, and yeah, thanks to all our cast and crew, along with all our families and all our friends. Thank you.
recognized and get all this attention. And I want to thank my cast and crew and Keys and Wolfman and everyone that helped me with it. So thank you. All right, this next category, there are no nominees, just a, a winner. The award for high school long form fiction goes to the Community Pierce High School. back at your cell, well, it isn't completely true. What do you mean? So, I will accept the award on behalf of the Community Pierce High School. So, now we have the nominees for our high school short form nonfiction, Costa Rica Mission, Sean Fortune, Johns Creek High School. Dear you, Sydney Hollis, Central Educational Center, Boya of the Week, Chandler, Mia Nelson, and Julia Levatore, Harrison High School. Innocence of Youth, Justice Bigot, Winnet, School of Math, Science, and Technology, One Ridge, Will Pinnager, Peachtree Ridge High School, and Two Pinnateri, Stephen Ahn, Brookwood High School. And the award goes to Dear You, Sydney Hollis, Central Educational Center. You have a lot of growing up to do, and that's okay. Stop spending so much time caring about what everybody else thinks. I just go by the beat of your own drum. program at Decatur High School and I used to shoot stories every day. 
I was also part of the yearbook staff and the news magazine staff um, called, um, called Scribbler at the time. So I was always active. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I was getting the right skill set for anything I could do. And then after going to Elon University, it just became clear to me that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a storyteller. So if there's anything I can encourage all the students um, in the audience right now is be authentically yourself. Be yourself unapologetically. It's easy to be someone else, but being yourself, becoming vulnerable, and knowing your true identity as a journalist is something that will separate you from the entire crowd. Um, my newsroom knows that I love this city beyond measures. Um, from the civil rights history, to the music, to the culture, to understanding the socioeconomics, the gentrification going on to so many different levels. I appreciate everything at Atlanta, and I try to infuse that into my storytelling, because the cultural phenomenons that Atlanta has experienced, to the cultural historic revolutions, and to where Atlanta is on the film industry side and the hip hop side, I've always tried to bring all of those different elements into the kind of reporting that I do every single day. And being myself has taken me far, and that's something that I want to encourage everyone in the audience to do. And yes, I love trap music. Yeah. Um, he wanted me to verify that. Um, so walk it like I talk it. Does anyone know that? I do. <laughs> hey! Okay, so we're going to get started with the awards. Let's see. All right, so the nominees for college short form nonfiction are, and excuse me if I say your name uh, incorrectly, I am Naima Abdullahi, so I think I'll take a pass on that. Um, the first one is uh, Kaya Degrahahai, What Are You Looking At? Manahar Kumar and Chris Zabriski, Savannah College of Arts and Design. Miss D's New Orleans Candy, uh, Mijin Han, Louise Pena, Lade Osilaha, Savannah College of Arts and Design. The third one, Mini Pigs, The Hidden Truth, Paula Castro, Shannon Tien, Walter Trujillo, Savannah College of Arts and Design. And the award goes to Kaya Degrahahai, what are you looking at? Men are who you are, Chris and Chris, Savannah College of Art and Thor uh, Thornberry's 2017 NCAA College 
NCAA championship profile, Madison Aitman, Ole Miss Sports Production, Classic City Queens, Trey Leonard, Andy Lee, Alana Castro, the University of Georgia, Ghost Light, Brooke Yonis, Eunice, Bryson Lima, Savannah College of Art and Design, Okie Finoki Swamp, Land of the tr uh, Trembling Earth, uh, Stephen Snyder and Ashton Dodd, and Cody Lum, Savannah College of Art and Design. Yoga in the Hood, that's an interesting oh, title. Yeah. Uh, Voodoo Jin, Isa Tidbergsi, Savannah College of Art and Design. And the award goes to Brandon Thornberry's 2017 NCAA uh, Championship Profile, Madison Amen, Old Miss Sports Production. Brandon to the NCAA Championship as the overall leader would be stressful. But for Brandon, having his constant sense of composure and calm mentality is just another part of the game. Professor Dr. Kevin Hall, also Professor 
Sarita Peterson, Greg Brandon, Carolina Panthers, they're an awesome organization. And thanks to my man, Brian Principe. He's also nominated, so thanks to the whole thing, dude. Thank you guys so much. This is great. And yes, South Carolina folks love their sports. Uh, I worked in South Carolina and North Carolina, so I know that pretty well. Uh, the nominees for high school sports are this season, Oxford Basketball, Episode 1, 2018, Merrick McCool, Julia Mitchell, Albert Famdo, Oxford High, uh, Oxford High Sports Production. WCAT MLS Soccer Package, Atlanta United versus Montreal Impact Recap, William Torton and William Forshe, Westminster WCAT. And the part you're waiting on, uh, one second. The season, Oxford Basketball, Episode 1, 2018, American Football, Julia Mitchell, Albert Fandel, Oxford High Sports Production. Jack 
Parker here, uh, William Foshe, Collier. Um, thank you. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for this opportunity. Really appreciate it. It's wonderful to do this in my hometown. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the award ceremony. Jeremy Campbell from Love and Live, president of the Academy. Let's all like, take a break, shake things off. I know it's nervous out there. Uh, it's a good time to actually pull out your cell phone. You can do that right now. I'd like for all of you to go online. Any photos that you've taken of the day, tag us. We're Southeast Emmy on Twitter, on Facebook. We're the Emmy Awards Southeast. We would love to share your moments tonight to all of our followers who are basically have the power to give you jobs. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Let them see you one tonight. One of the, one of the reasons that, uh, the, that NANAS exists is not just to honor excellence with statuettes and crystal pillars, but also we want to help make us all better at what we do. And we have several events coming up that will help do just that. On July 21st, we're hosting a free class at, at SCAD, it's at the SCAD uh, Media Center. All the details are on the Southeast City Facebook page, but um, this class is gonna help you basically uh, give rocket fuel to your social media profiles, which we all know is more important than ever uh, to get messages out on digital. But we have a trainer coming in uh, who has been certified by Facebook uh, to, to tell all the tricks of the trade and how to get your social media profile uh, skyrocketing, to the, skyrocketing to the top. And if you want to help me with mine, I'm Jeremy Campbell, 11 Alive. Tag me too. <laughs> um, but without further ado, we'll move on with uh, the presentations. Um, I'd like to present the nominees for sports program. Fencing, Alfred High School. Oxford Baseball Playoffs, Oxford High Sports Productions. The Season, Oxford Basketball, Episode 1, Oxford High Sports Productions. Signing Day 2018, Lanier High School. And the award goes to Oxford Baseball Playoffs, Merrick McCool, Andrew Gardner, Eli Martin, Oxford High Sports Productions. Congratulations. If they win close over the next eight wins, there's going to be a lot of things happening. But you got to get win number one to even think about win number eight. No one came to the stage. <laughs> we will now pass to the winner. The nominees for public service PSAs are, this is the college category, Role Models, Savannah College of Art and Design, Weird, Savannah College of Art and Design, and the award goes to Weird. Weird. Man, Mason Douglas, David O'Hara, Savannah College of Art and Design. We have any here. Come on. Isn't that a weird thing to say to tear someone down? Because weird will design the clothes that become our favorite trends. And weird will write the shows we binge late at night. Farmer, North College and Career Academy. 
Tiny Hands, Yocheti Baez, and Nellie Dover, Roswell High School. And the award goes to Don't Diabetes. Amanda Lane, Lucy Dollar, and Sarah Garrett John Hunter. We all for it. You're in your mid-40s with a comfortable life, but a slightly stressful job. Your doctor recently told you that your blood sugar is high, but not to the point of diabetes. What does this mean? Prediabetes is what it sounds like, but it should still be taken seriously. If you are middle-aged, have high stress, genetic history, and are not Caucasian, you could be at risk. Up next, the nominee is for High School Public Affairs Community Service. Fake it till you make it. Right. Chris Dooney and Lisa Lee Estrada and Justin Harris, Phoenix High School. Stress, Kill Cole, Alpharetta High School. And the award goes to Fake it till you make it. Chris Dooney, Lisa Lee Estrada, Justin Harris, Phoenix High School. Congratulations, great work. 
Up next, the nominees for College Animation Graphics and Special Effects. Audi R8, Zeno Patton Jacara, Savannah College of Art and Design. A Brief History of Underwear. Laura Cash, Savannah College of Art and Design. Fossil Watch, Zeno Patton Jacara, Savannah College of Art and Design. And History of Television, Zeno Patton Jacara, Savannah College of Art and Design. And the winner is A Brief History of Underwear.
for Escaper, and he just wanted me to say uh, he apologizes for not being able to make the event, um, and he wants to thank his partner in crime, Ashton, who really made the film sound incredible with his mixing in hours upon hours in a small editing room. I want to thank Kai, Shane, and the SCAD, and every single person that helped make the movie making process. Thanks so much. It means so much to me and Ashton. Thank you. And we do have a second winner to announce in that category, Co-Motion 2018. We'll show that award too. <laughs> Thank you guys. Jason Serna, Cambridge High School. Kyle Monahan and 
and Eric Trauba, Alpharetta High School, William Turton, and Turner Craters, Westminster, WCAT. Clark. 
Um, and I'm so glad I got this opportunity. I'm not so good at stitches, that's why we're behind the camera. So I'm gonna make this short. Once again, I'd like to thank my parents and Teach Chuvin for coming out here tonight. So thank you. All right, so the nominees for, oh, hold on a second. Yes, okay, I think I'm right. Okay, sometimes you lose your place, guys. It's natural, I promise. All right, so the nominees for college editor are The Buzz, episode four, Casey Abagnani and Emily Kramer, Savannah College of Art and Design, Hot Case, Cheyenne Lacani, and Christian Montalvo, and Mark Fox, Savannah College of Art and Design, and Nailed It, Casey Abagnani, and Emily Kramer, Savannah College of Art and Design. So, uh, I wonder who it is, if those names all sound familiar. The award goes to Hot Case, Cheyenne Lacani, and Christian Montalvo, and Mark Fox, Savannah College of Art and Design. Supporting me and just helping me live my dreams. 
Uh, third, I'd like to thank Viking Fusion for just providing space for which I can create things and tell incredible stories. Uh, fourth, I'd like to um, thank my awesome advisor, Stephen Haynes, for just being an incredible mentor. Uh, and lastly, I'd like to thank my former boss, Sally Bridget, who uh, is an incredible leader and an even better friend. So, thank you so much. All righty, folks. This is my last one. All righty. The nominees for high school photographer are Aaron Hang, Alpharetta High School, Merrick McCool, Oxford High Sports Productions, Thomas Harmon and Ian Islam, Lanier High School, Sam Schwartz, Johns Creek High School. And the award goes to Emma Winner Rose. Aaron Hang. Some that I won were, were the most precious memories and some I lost 
often with precious memories as well, so that's something I wanted just to kind of take a note on, is it all makes you stronger at the end. It all made me so strong um, in every single way. My music career is something I'll carry forever and ever, and it helped me get to the TV industry, which is great. I didn't think my journey would take me here, but it has, and that's how it works sometimes. So embrace these moments, continue to compete, because it will sharpen you, it will make you so much stronger, and it will just continue to help you rise now you do. So without further, let's keep it moving and keep shining for you guys right now, because you guys have been doing great. I'm gonna start with the nominees for college talent. We have Brian Principe from University of South Carolina, Holden Galatis from Georgia Southern University, and the award goes to Brian Principe, University of South Carolina. of the regular season for South Carolina. Well, the Gamecock softball team has been solid at home all year long, including wins over top 10 opponents throughout the entire season. This weekend, they got another crack at a top team in the country, the number seven seeded Auburn Titan. Well, first of all, I mean, as everyone else said, that's been awarded from South Carolina. We do love our university so much, and uh, being a Gamecock is very important to me, and being a graduate of South Carolina is something I'll take with me forever, and I know a lot of Gamecocks will say that. So with that being said, I can't thank any, everyone at South Carolina, but the few people I could can thank are my classmates from Carolina News. Uh, Dr. Kevin Hall is honestly the, the whole reason why I'm, I'm probably here at this point, um, and everyone else in South Carolina, and of course my parents. I mean. They allowed me to travel from New Jersey to go to South Carolina when I was in high school, and their support over those four years um, are absolutely the reason why I'm here. So, with that being said, you know, follow your dreams um, and continue to to tell stories and do what you've been, everyone's been doing. It's incredible, and um, just to be a part of this is is amazing. Thank you. Moving on, the nominees for high school talent are Andy Cole, Lanier High School, Camden Miller, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV, Rachel Henderson, Roswell High School, Reese Phillips, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV, and Thomas Hart, Fort Mill High School. And the award goes to Andy Cole, Lanier High School. Presented by Lanier Productions. Today, three stellar athletes will sign on the dotted line, making way for four more years, playing the game they put so much into already. I'm Andy Cole, Bryce Bulls, I. Alan Lincoln, and Josh Towns will be joining us a little later with more on those athletes. But first, here's what you can expect from the rest of our broadcast. You know, on this round, I'd like to thank the Academy um, for selecting me. I did not think I would be here because, to be completely honest, I, other than nominees are here, I'm stalking your YouTubes or your class pages just to figure out what are they doing right? What are they doing right? So, thank you so much to everyone that's impacted me. I'd like to take a moment to thank our principal, Dr. Ruben J. Gresham, um, who is now an area superintendent, and Dr. Christian Martin, who's not able to make it tonight. So, thank you so much. You should stop your competitors, right? <laughs> you need to. You definitely. It's, you need to watch what everyone else is doing. It'll make you stronger, and you all should continue to lift each other up. All right. The nominees for video essay, single camera only, are Elizabeth Henry from Savannah College of Art and Design, and Darren Usher from Savannah College of Art and Design. <coughs> and the award goes to Darren Usher, Savannah College of Art and Design. Watch more films that incorporate different editing styles. Who knows? Maybe you'll find something that'll touch you in a way that a cut to cut sequence could not edit. Nice. Um, so, 
a lot of people to thank, so I don't have time to thank everybody, but uh, first off, I want to thank SCAD uh, for uh, accepting me as a student and giving me the opportunity to uh, uh, follow my interest in being a filmmaker and video essayist. Um, I want to personally thank uh, Professor Michael Kinney, who was our teacher for History of Cinema, um, gave us the opportunity to go and make these uh, video essays possible. And um, just want to thank my family as well for continually supporting me and uh, everything uh, that uh, I strive to do is because of them. And uh, lastly, um, I just want to impart that um, the most important thing that I learned about making uh, this video essay is uh, everything is built on the past uh, so that we can better ourselves in the future. So I just want to impart that to you guys that uh, cherish this moment, uh, cherish this day that you guys were here and nominated so that you can go and continue building on uh, your future careers. Thanks so much. Very well said. All right, the nominees for video essay, single camera only, are Delta Museum, Alpharetta High School, Mural Harvey, Alpharetta High School. And the award goes to Delta Museum, Audrey Zermule, Matthew George, Alpharetta High School. Good morning, Alpharetta. I'm Matthew George here at the grand opening of the 747 exhibit here at the Delta Museum. From this day on, the 747 will be retired and available for all visitors to tour as part of the Delta Museum. Okay, well, um, we'd like to thank the Academy for putting us on this stage here in front of you all. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, my family, for supporting my decision to transfer high schools. It was worth it for film. Um, and uh, who I worked with, especially Matthew. If there's one person I'd like to thank, it has to be uh, Tracy Meisner. Although he was a real big pain sometimes, all that effort and hard work did pay off. Also, special thanks to Audrey. Without her, I could really not do anything. I personally, not the best writer in the world. She is a really good writer. And thanks to her, and thanks to all those crisp, beautiful shots of that beautiful 747 aircraft that we've been gladly invited to by Delta Airlines, those were all recorded by her. So thank you so much for having us here today. It's very challenging till this day. Woo! Congrats, guys. Moving on to the nominees for writing, as, since that is mentioned so wonderfully. The nominees are The Buzz, Episode 4, Savannah College of Art and Design. The Buzz, Season 2, Episode 1, Lay Buzz, Savannah College of Art and Design. Hot Case, Savannah College of Art and Design. And Nailed It, Savannah College of Art and Design. And the award goes to Nailed It, Anna Roswell, Amy Cole, Daniel Hessman, and Savannah Carter. Show us boss, now get in there! Hey, what's up? Oh! oh! Hashtag Nailed It. <laughs> you okay? Can't have my co-host broken on the first <laughs> I'm so honored to be accepting this award on behalf of Anna, Dan, and Amy. As a fan and a peer of them, um, this is such an honor for them, and they're so sorry they couldn't be here today. They would like to thank SCAD, and they would like to thank the Dramatic Writing Department. Thank you. All right. Another nomination for writing. We're moving to high school level. We got Orlane Devison from Hiram High School and Audrey Zermulin and Matthew George from Alpharetta High School. And the award goes to Orlane Devison, Hiram High School. Be Peter, to live. Funny I've been feeling the complete opposite. Most times I feel like I'm just existing moving day in and day out. You know, the usual get up, go to school, watch the clock tick slowly and then come home. Oh my god. 
Um, more than anything in the world, um, I'm like so, I can't even believe it, this is insane. But um, Ikiru in Japanese does mean to live, and it was a story that I feel like isn't told from a perspective, probably of a Haitian American girl, but more than anything, I have to thank um, Ms. Holmes, who is my audio video tech teacher, who sadly could not be here today, but I also thank my family, because if it wasn't for your leap of faith 15 years ago to come to this country with nothing but your you know, native tongue and bits and pieces of English from American pop culture, then I wouldn't be standing here today. And um, Ned, thank you so much for coming. And Sami is my baby sister. And where a tripod cannot go, she can go. So um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. So awesome when the family around you keeps you uplifted when you are pursuing your dreams. So that's awesome. All right, and the winner for newscast, we have one main winner, is Carolina News, March 31st, 2017, from University of South Carolina. Hello, and welcome to Carolina News. I'm Parker King. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Haley Anders. Well, we're just one day away from the Gamecock men's team taking college basketball's biggest stage in Phoenix. So we are all up here accepting this award um, on behalf of Brian Solomon as well. Brian's up in New York, he can't be here, but he was the producer for that show, did an incredible job, as we all did throughout the entire semester at Carolina News, Caitlin, Haley, all incredible people that we all were fortunate enough to work with and graduate with. Um, so Brian unfortunately couldn't be here, but we're accepting on his behalf, thank you. Alright, to follow the rest of my Live and Live family, this is the last one for me and for the, this wonderful evening. I want to get a selfie with you guys too. Can I do that? But I'm going to do a selfie though because I want it, I want to, I just want it to be a still photo, okay? So we're going to grab a photo here. And we got to represent the Live and Live in the building with all these amazing folks. my ladies some credit because they were a little smart. I can't see all y'all in this picture, so I'm going to get some videos. Is that okay? Five seconds? Okay. All right, everybody cheer! All right, before I leave, I definitely just want to re-emphasize how awesome you guys are and how the youth is our future. And where I am now in my life, I want to continue to invest as much as I can and be around you all as much as I can because the mentors and the people I had around me in my life, pursuing it in my teens, my 20s, and maybe I'm creeping on my 30s a little bit now, but. So I just want to congratulate you guys again and many blessings to your journey, the continuing obstacles you'll continue to break through. Just keep on shining and keep on rising, okay? All right, so the last one we got here tonight is the nominee for newscast are Buzz TV from February 23rd, 2018. Roswell High School, RNE TV Live, November 8th, 2017, Richland Northeast High School, and Season 10, Episode 12, Veterans Day Show, Fort Mill High School, The Buzz TV. And the award goes to Season 10, Episode 12, Veterans Day Show, Fort Mill High School. And I'm Camden. We took a little break last week, or we're back, and we're going to give you guys another great episode of The Bus. And just in time to celebrate Veterans Day, we are here at Veterans Park to honor the past, present, and future men and women of the armed forces that fight to keep us safe every day. Because all of us have pretty much known each other since 
elementary school, and it's really amazing that we put this show together our senior year and make Mama Kay proud, our teacher who can't be here, but she's going to Russia tomorrow with a few of our students to cover the World Cup, so that's cool. <laughs> It's been a really amazing experience. Um, I think at the beginning of the year, we always said this is going to be the year of fun, but um, it's really amazing to be standing here today. Um, so again, thank you again, Mr. Kemi. Uh, thank you to all the parents, our parents who have supported us, even though we've been working on the show more than we've been with you. It's kind of our part-time job. Uh, this is really amazing. Thank you. pictures down there by that uh, the red carpet and the any statue I think there's still some uh, Chick-fil-A down there as well uh, to, be, uh, to, to be eaten. Uh, appreciate you taking time out of your Saturday to come and, uh, and salute uh, some unbelievable work and uh, we're going to see you guys uh, real soon I'm sure in our newsrooms uh, across the southeast so uh, God bless have a great night and we'll see you soon.